So today let's talk about uh, the question that I'm asked a lot. How many hours can you work a day? How many, how far can you drive in one day? Or is there a limit to how long you can work? Yes, there is a limit. Uh, uh, they're called the hours of service. Uh, it's I'll give you a, just a basic rundown here. It's I have a 70 hour work week. 70 hours in 8 days. That's my limit. I'm allowed to work 14 hours a day. Uh, within those 14 hours, I'm allowed to drive 11 hours. And I have to take 10 hours off. Every day, every night, I have to take 10 hours off. Uh, that's minimum required time off that I have to take. And every 24 hours is 10 hours off. So, 14 and 10, 24. Uh, a couple of years ago, they came out with another rule to go right along with the rest, and that's the eight-hour rule, where I cannot work more than eight solid hours without taking a 30-minute uh, break. So I have to have 30 minutes off duty after every eight hours that I work. Uh, personally, I think that's just nonsense. Let's say I, I take off and it's going to take me 8 hours and 15 minutes to get to where I need to go. Well, I have to stop at 8 hours, sit there for a half an hour to drive that last 15 minutes. It's kind of ridiculous and it really makes scheduling and, and planning your trip and everything, just makes everything more complicated. It's, it's not a help, it's a hindrance, if you ask me. I benefit very little from that. But, regardless, somebody who has no idea how to drive a truck made the rules for how to drive a truck, so here we are. Um, so yes, back to the rest of it. The... Usually on uh, an average day for me is somewhere between 10 to 12 hours, sometimes less, sometimes more. Every day is unique from the every other day. I think that's why so many people like to do this. You don't really do the same thing twice. You don't really do the same thing every day. Yes, you may do the same loads over and over again, but you'll never hit the same series of traffic lights red, or you'll never see, or you don't really see a whole lot of the same cars twice, or the same people driving them. Sometimes that's good, sometimes, well, you know. But, uh, so that's basic rundown. So within my eight days, I can't work more than 70 hours. I can work for 14 hours a day. I can drive 11 hours a day. Uh, if I have a day where I just get up and take off and drive, that's, you know, right about 700 miles I can go in one day. Uh, just a rough, to give me an idea, that's uh, roughly, let's say I can go from Sheboygan, Wisconsin to uh, West Memphis, Arkansas. I've done that several times. I think that's actually a little bit more than 700, but it is doable. So that's kind of an idea. Gives you an idea about how far I can go in one day. Uh, there's also the 34-hour restart. So if I, let's say, uh, well, I'm home every weekend. A lot of guys stay out longer than that. Some guys stay out two weeks, three weeks, three months. Uh, it's not uncommon. Uh, for me, I usually work Sunday through Friday. Sometimes it's Monday through Friday. Sometimes it's Sunday through Saturday. Sometimes it's Monday through Saturday. It's never, you know, I don't have a regular schedule, but usually it's Sunday through Friday and I'm home on holidays, uh, well, major holidays anyway, you know, things like that, I get vacation and so on, but 
but there's also the 34 hour restart, which is uh, like if I get home on Friday and I am done for the week, if I have 34 consecutive hours off duty, it resets my 70 hour clock. So 34 hours off, I get my full 70 hours to start the next week with again. Uh, there's been a lot of controversy going around about that in the trucking world. Uh, they want to regulate the 34 hour restarts to where you can only use it one time a week. Uh, you can only take it once, once every seven days or once every 146 hours, I think it is. Uh, and they, they want to have it make sure that you include two time periods from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. within that 34 hours or it or you have to wait until you get to 5 a.m. on the second day. It's just ridiculous. That, I mean, I, you do that, and I, I mean, I could get home. I could get home at 2 in the morning and go off duty. Well, now I have to say I get home at 2 a.m. on Friday. Well, now I can't move until 5 a.m. on Sunday because I have to have that two periods from 1 a.m. to 5, or, yeah, 1 to 5 a.m. But since I got home at 2 o'clock on Friday night, oh, or Friday morning, oh, that doesn't count. Even though I've been off duty for 48 hours. Well, nope, gotta have 1 to 5. Well, it, that was in effect for a while. They took it away. Until they could do some further study. Sometimes I wonder if they even really study anything. It's hard enough to do this job. I don't need more, more, more rules. I already have enough to follow. I have a hard time following those. You know, it makes it hard to earn a living when you have somebody breathing down your neck, making sure you're, you know, don't do this, don't do that. Don't use the phone while you're driving, which I agree with that, but that's a whole other discussion. So yes, I hope that answers your, all your questions you had about uh, how many hours a day I can work, or how many, how many hours a week, or how far can I travel in a day. Uh, any, any other questions about that, just feel free to ask. I'm, I'm always willing to accept some questions. Hopefully that uh, is what you were looking for. Be safe.